This story really demonstrates everything wrong with the Democratic Party. So Joe Biden, the president of the United States, the most powerful man on the planet, for those of you unaware, just signaled to folks that he can't do anything about gun control. On, As Alexander Bolton of The Hill explains, President Biden said Monday that it's up to Congress to outlaw assault weapons and strengthen background checks for gun sales, telling reporters, I can't dictate this stuff. Quote, I can do the things I've done and any executive action I can take, I'll continue to take. But I can't outlaw a weapon. I can't change a background check. I can't do that, Biden said after stepping off Marine One on the South Lawn of the White House. Asked if he is optimistic for getting a deal to address gun violence after Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said last week that he had tapped Senator John Cornyn to negotiate with Democrats. Biden replied, I don't know. Quote, McConnell is a rational Republican. Cornyn is as well, he said. I think there's a recognition on their part that they, we can't continue like this. We can't do this. Now, this is the best part. Biden and McConnell successfully negotiated several deals when Biden was vice president, most notably a deal to keep many of the George W. Bush era tax cuts in place and avoid the so-called fiscal cliff at the start of 2013. But the president has made clear in recent days that Senate Democrats led by Senator Chris Murphy will handle the negotiations on Capitol Hill over gun control. Now, yes, it is true that the president cannot introduce legislation. I think that most reasonable people acknowledge that he has to sign the bills that Congress passes into law. But as the president, you have power and influence, right? Where you lack power, some might argue you have the influence to get things accomplished, to get the ball rolling in a particular direction. So you can make this an issue. You can raise the salience of this issue. You can say this bill that Democrats have passed in the House is not being voted on in the Senate. So protest. Call up your member of Congress. You can call on Congress as president to put a particular bill on your desk. But Biden doesn't think he has any power as president. Like, I'm not sure why he chose to run for president if he's not going to exercise the power that he has. Again, as president, your power isn't unlimited, but your influence is virtually limitless. You can hold a press conference every single day until something gets passed, calling on Republicans, naming Manchin and Cinema in your party for refusing to lift a filibuster in order to get gun reform accomplished, but he won't do that. And I found one of the best tweets I've ever seen with regard to Democratic Party leadership. Jonathan Larson tweets, I don't think congressional Democrats understand that voters see them as the cops standing around outside the school. And that might be the most accurate tweet I've ever seen because the Democratic Party, when they refuse to act, when they're incompetent, you know, that's one thing, but sometimes they do worse. Like we're talking about Biden currently, but Democratic Party leadership in the House, Nancy Pelosi, Steny Hoyer, Jim Clyburn, they actually were campaigning for someone who got an A rating from the NRA. I'm, of course, talking about Henry Cuellar. This is an anti-choice Democrat in Texas, and he also is a gun nut. He advocates for gun anarchy. He's fiscally conservative, socially conservative. There's no reason any Democrat would want to support him. The only reason why you'd support him if you're Nancy Pelosi is so that way you can become the Speaker of the House. If there's more Democrats, then you get the gavel, right? But functionally speaking, Henry Cuellar is indistinguishable from a Republican, but yet House leadership chose to endorse and campaign for Henry Cuellar over a progressive woman who would want to enact gun reform legislation. So this is Democratic Party leadership. They are incompetent at best, but at worst, they help out the opposition. They pretend as if Republicans are good faith actors when time and again, they've spit in the faces of Democratic Party leaders and... You know, Democrats turn right back around and say, more please. I guess that they're masochists at this point. And I love that Joe Biden says that Mitch McConnell is reasonable. This is an individual who stole two Supreme Court seats from the Democratic Party. When you were vice president, he wouldn't let Obama fulfill his constitutional duty as president and appoint a new Supreme Court justice. And a week before an election, they rushed through Amy Coney Barrett's confirmation after Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. And yet you're saying, oh, this individual is reasonable. I mean, to, to say that Mitch McConnell is reasonable isn't just incorrect, but it legitimizes this individual who has done everything in his power to turn the Democratic Party into um, this toothless organization that 
is incapable of governing. And, and it's just, it's shocking that they continue to do this to themselves because you'd think that they'd have some like self-worth and they think, okay, we, we kind of look foolish at this point, right? But no. So Biden is going to leave it all up to Senate Democrats. And, you know, they're talking a big game right now, but will anything get accomplished? No, because it's not going to get accomplished so long as you try to pass it with the 60 vote majority. You have to do it either using budget reconciliation or by getting rid of the filibuster and passing it with all 50 Democrats. But the problem is that uh, Manchin refuses to call out Manchin and Cinema. Biden refuses to name them and say, we could get this done, but these two members of my party, they're blocking it. Call their office, protest. He's not going to do anything because he's worthless as a president. And honestly, I don't know what he's even doing in the White House. Like, what are, what are you doing, Joe? Just resign if you don't want to be the president. You ran for this job, you wanted the job, and you have it now. So if you're not going to act, then I just, I don't even know what to say. Just, just go home. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there, like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today. You know You 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 know You know the you know the thing. You're getting nervous, man. man.